Welcome to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own spiral crocheted sun hat. We're going to be working two colours in the same round that will create this fabulous spiral pattern very, very easily with no fancy colour changes at all. This pattern is actually super simple and once you've got a hang of how to change the colours inside the rows, you'll be flying and making your very own sun hat. Now this pattern is written in four different sizes. It comes in sizes age one to three, age three to 12 years, an adult size hat and a large adult size hat. So this hat here, if I can slide everything out. This hat is the adult sized hat with a slightly shortened brim um, than what is written. And you can see the spiral here starting to create this really nice striped effect in this pattern. Now there are a couple of variations from this original pattern that I first made. I originally made this beautiful pattern in the Rico Design Na uh, Creative Nature. Um, this is 100% hemp yarn. Um, I made it because it's a nice natural fibre, trying to be a little bit eco-friendly, trying to offset some of my carbon footprint when I went to Mexico, where I, where I wore this hat. Um, but unfortunately, this is becoming increasingly difficult to get hold of this yarn. It is a DK weight version of this yarn. I think you can still get it in like a worsted or an iron weight. So today we're going to be using just 100% cotton in a DK weight, so a size 3 cotton yarn. Let's talk about some of these other materials that we're going to be needing to create our very own spiral sun hat. So the original hat was made in this Rico Creative Nature yarn, which is 100% hemp. Um, and actually it was quite nice to work with, a little bit tough on the hands, shall we say, but it made a beautiful yarn to make a hat. Now, the reason that I'm telling you about this is I don't know how easy this yarn is to get hold of anymore. Um, even my um, tech editor wasn't able to find it in the listings so what i've done is for today we're going to be actually making this version in paint box yarn 100 percent cotton dk so this is a three weight yarn yep so a size three yarn um and they come in 50 gram balls from love crafts um just 100 percent cotton and i've got two shades which is stormy gray and paper white i believe yep so 404 and 401, I'm going to be using the grey as colour A and my white as colour B. So you're going to need two differently coloured yarns. Obviously, the brighter the colour change, the more your spiral will show out, show up, sorry, and so will your stripes. On top of that, we're using a, a size three yarn with a three and a half millimetre hook. This is not my best three and a half millimetre hook, but it's the only one I can find. In fact... You can see that I had to super glue it back in at some point because it came out of its little casing. Now, this pattern is worked in a continuous spiral, which means that there is absolutely no joining in this pattern. So you are going to need a stitch marker, at least one, if not two. Different colours as well, so you can tell. You can need a darning needle right at the end, along with a pair of scissors. And there is an optional extra as well, if you would like it, and that is the use of some floristry wire in the edge of your brim. Now I'm going to make a separate video on how to add the wire because it is an optional extra. You don't necessarily need this. If you do have it, I'll pop a link here and hopefully at the end of the video um, so you can go ahead and straight away view how to add floristry wire or to wire the brim of your hat. So gather all of your materials and we're going to get started. So as you can see, I've got both colours prepared because we're going to use both colours in round one. So make sure you've got both your balls of yarn ready. And we're going to start by making round one together all the way through to round nine. The first nine rounds are the same, whichever size you are making. Um, and if at any point you need to see the written pattern just to confirm how many rows you're doing or rounds you're doing for your size, you can find that linked in the description box below. So make sure you know which of your colours is colour A and colour B. I'm going to start with the grey colour um, and we're going to start by making a magic ring or you can do a chain four and a slip stitch. I'm not going to show you how I do a magic ring because I don't think it's very helpful. I will link my magic ring video here for you. 
um, a little bit slower version. Doesn't matter which way you do it, if you do a chain four or you do a magic ring, adjustable circle, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same. Um, once we've made our magic ring, we are going to work straight into the center of this ring. So we work four half double crochets directly into the center of the ring, your um, slip stitched ring or this magic circle. We're gonna work four half doubles. So we yarn over the hook, insert into the middle. You can see how I'm holding mine. I just keep it out of the way. So, and I'm also working over my tail all at the same time, um, just so I know where I'm working. So we yarn over the hook, insert the hook, into the center of the ring, we're yarning over, bringing that loop back through. So you should have three loops on your hook. Then we yarn over and pull through. So I'm doing it slowly, I can't do it. All three loops on our hook. And we're gonna do that four times. So that's one, yarn over again, insert the hook, yarn over to bring that loop back through, yarn over and pull through all three loops, that's two, three, and four. Once we've completed that fourth stitch, I'm just gonna make a large loop with that first color and take our hook out. If you wanna secure this loop with a stitch marker, you can do. Um, I'm not going to at this point because I'm going to add on we're going to work in these stitches again in a moment. I'm quite happy that I don't need to, but you're very welcome to if you want. At this point, we've done the first half of our round. We've got one, two, three, four half double crochets in colour A. And on this time, we're going to add on colour B. So to do that for myself, you can either tie this yarn on or you can insert your hook. Place the new colour over your hook and then bring your cut new color through and then with your working yarn, I'm just going to chain one. That probably looks really fiddly and it feels really fiddly and that's just gonna secure it. And then I'm gonna continue working around. Doesn't matter if these are far away from each other or anything like that. We're just gonna work a further four half double crochets into the center of our ring, that's one. Make sure that's nice and neat and pull that through. There we go, one. Oh, one, <laughs> goodness. This is the only fiddly bit, I promise. One, two, three, and four. And then if you like, you can just bring your hook out for a moment while we work out what on earth we've got here. Oh, don't pull your working yarn though, whatever you do. So at the moment we've got two halves of one round. And what we need to do is to pull, it's quite important to have worked around your tails here, is just pull your tail yarns so that it cinches your two colors together and closes that hole. There we go, nice and tight. <laughs> and you can see at the moment they're just sat opposite each other, which is absolutely fine. That is exactly how we want them to look. You've got your color, well, I've got my color B at the top, color A at the bottom. So this is round one, this is it. We've got eight stitches in four in each color. And what we're going to do is just kind of detangle ourselves here. We're gonna carry on into round two. And this is how every single round is gonna be worked with the colors. You start with one color and you finish the other round, finish the, oh, finish the round with the other color. Because for round two, we're gonna first crochet into the first four stitches you can see you've got one under there, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna work 
two half double crochets into each stitch, continuing in colour A. So insert your hook into that next stitch. It might be hidden down a little bit, so make sure you don't. You might have to work your hook into it. But because we're not joining the round, we're just working continuously, we are going to start that round two by yarning over, insert the hook into the next stitch to work a half double crochet, so that's number one, and then we're going to work a second half double crochet back into that same stitch again. go so that's our second stitch of the round and this is where I'm going to place my stitch marker so here is our stitch we've just worked I can get that close enough stitch we've just worked and here is our first stitch that we worked in round two and that's where I'm going to place my crochet my stitch marker I would highly recommend that because you are working in continuous rounds just in case you lose your your point at any time during making this pattern you know where that first stitch of each round is so we're going to move this stitch marker up with each stitch that with each round that we work so we've worked one of the first four stitches so let's do the second stitch we're going to work another two half double crochets into that next stitch so one and two And then another two into the next stitch, one and two. Now you might find that your next stitch is where we did our last, we pulled up our large loop. And you can see that that stitch is kind of moving and stretching, that's fine. What, we, what I do is kind of hold the other colour against, kind of pinch it down so I can still see where I need to work. Just hold that loop against your project, and then work your next two half double crochets into your next stitch. Now we've got this loop in the way, this is telling me that we need to change colours. So we should now have eight half double crochets in colour A. So there's number one where our stitch marker is, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So to change colour, again, I'm going to pull up a loop and take colour B off my hook and simply place colour A back on my hook. As I tighten that hook, you'll see that the stitch just kind of goes back to normal completely and we just continue on working in that next stitch. Again, it might feel look like it's kind of down the side, so just make sure that you count back. So one, two, three, there is number four, or in our case, number one. And we're going to work a further four, uh, two half double crochets in each of the next four stitches. But this time we're doing it in colour B. A. What are we doing now? Colour A, yes. <laughs> one and two. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Now we don't need to bring up a big loop here because we're going to be continuing at the start of round three with colour A again, working on top of the other colour. But at the end of round two, you should already see the very loose start of your spiral. So we've already got two rounds down, and if we counted our stitches for row two, you should have eight stitches in colour B and eight stitches in colour A. We're going to go on to round three. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker just for a moment while we continue with colour A and this time we're going to work one half double crochet into one the first stitch and then two half double crochets into the next. So that's one and two. 
Now I'm going to place my stitch marker back into the position in that first stitch of the round. So we've done one, two, and then there was our first stitch, just so I know exactly where I need to start my next round. And then we can continue working this stitch pattern around. So we're going to work one single crochet in, sorry, one half double crochet into the next stitch and then two half double crochets in the stitch after that. So you work one half double crochet, two half double crochets. You see, I'm just pulling that loop of the other color down so I can make my stitch more defined so I can see where I'm working. I'm just gonna put it behind and hold on to it there. So we're going to work one double, half double crochet then in that final stitch just before the loop for the color change i'm working a further two half double crochets and then we're ready to change color again so i bring up a loop make sure that knot doesn't end up pulling out my yarn and i'm going to move that yarn to the front so it doesn't get too tangled and then i'm going to place the next uh, the next color back onto my hook tight pulling on that working yarn just so you can tighten everything up and make that stitch the right size again and then there is our next stitch that we're going to work into and we're just going to continue in the same stitch pattern so you, if you ever get confused you can see that we've already worked into that stitch that we've just done in color a and we're just continuing in color b working the same stitch pattern. So we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch, followed by two sing uh, half double crochets, sorry, half double crochets. There we go. And it's just continuing that spiral around. So we just continue, so we work one half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two half double crochets. all the way around back to our stitch marker. You should end working two half double crochets in the stitch before your stitch marker. You can really start to see the spiral coming out now. And we're just gonna continue around in this fashion. So that is round three. And at this point, we should now have 12 stitches in each colour. I would not have known that without adding it up. Wow, terrible. So just double check that you've got 12 stitches in each of the colours. And then we're going to move on working our row four. So this time we're continuing in colour B. And we start in the first stitch working one half double crochet. One half double crochet into the next. Just going to stop and pop my stitch marker back into that first stitch that we made because after we've done one half double one half double we then work two half double crochets into the next stitch so we work one half double a second half double in the next stitch and then in the third stitch we're working two half double crochets. And we continue that the whole way around, making sure that we do our color change when we meet our loop. So again, I'm just tightening that loop Pulling that loop down so I can work into that last stitch. And then we are, we're ready to change colours again. I'm going to bring up a nice big loop of my white colour. I shouldn't be twisted because I'm trying to be careful not to. Oh, oh goodness, let me sort out that pickle where we are and then we can change over to I don't know what's happening here I'm just going to pull on this grey yarn and hope it's on my hook that's the main thing 
why is oh dear there we go that's a bit better they are separated it just looks a mess um and then we're just i'm going to pull all down on color a and we continue with the same stitch pattern working into that next stitch so we work one single crochet oh it's a half double sorry second half double and then we do two half double crochets into the next stitch and we repeat that all the way around back to our stitch marker so one one two one half double one half double two half doubles in the next stitch one half double one half double two half doubles in that final stitch before our stitch marker. You can really start to see that spiral coming out now, can't we? Whee! So, at this point we have just completed round four and we're going into round five. So at the moment our stitch count, we should have 16 stitches in each of the two colours to make up the round. And we're gonna go straight into round five where we're going to work three half double crochets followed by two half double crochets in the next stitch. We're gonna do that four times in color A. So we work one, two, I'm pausing just to put my stitch marker back in. Just into that first stitch, trust me, if, it, if you, well, if you don't do it and you <laughs> lose your place, trust me, you'll never make that mistake again because you'll probably, I have to undo it and start again because I'm just so forgetful about what round I'm on. So we've done one, two, and we're doing a third half double, followed by our increase. So working two stitches into the next stitch. And we're doing that the whole way around. So we're gonna do that four times in color A. One, two, and three. Oops. One, two, three, and then increase. One, two, and three, increase. One, two, we increase in that last stitch where we have the loop of colour B and then we can pull up our loop and change back to colour B. You notice that I'm bringing that the original colour A forward just to prevent any tangles of these two different colours because I find it infuriating when all the yarns get all tangled up. So we're going to continue with round five, working with colour B. We're going to work those um, three half double crochets. So one half double crochet in the next three stitches, followed by two half double crochets in the next. And just repeat that around until you reach your stitch marker. So at the end of round five, you should have 20 stitches in colour A and 20 stitches in colour B. And we're already ready to go on to round six. We're going to be continuing with our colour B. And for this round, we're going to work one single crochet into the... Oh, I keep saying single crochet, I don't know why. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches followed by an increase in that fifth stitch. So one, two, place that stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. One, two, 
and three, four, and then we work our increase, working two half double crochets into the next. And we repeat that around to our colour change. So we do that four times, working one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by our increase. Once we've reached the loop for our colour change, we can once again pull up, just take the hook out of and place the next loop on and pull the next working yarn, Fiona. And we just carry on with the same stitch pattern again. So we're going to place one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. followed by an increased stitch, so perking two half double crochets in the next. And we just continue to repeat that around back to our stitch marker. So at the end of round six, you should then have a total of 24 stitches in colour B, 24 stitches in colour A, and we're going to continue with colour A into round seven. I'm going to pop my stitch marker out and on this round we're going to work five so we're going to work one half double crochet into the next five stitches just taking a moment to replace my stitch marker followed by our increase that's two three four and five and then we increase into that next stitch. Now we repeat that in the same way, changing colours here, working in the remainder of the round in colour B. So continue with round seven, working one single crochet in the next five stitches, followed by your increase. And I will meet you at the end of round seven. At the end of round seven, you should have a stitch count of 28 stitches in each colour. And you can, I hope you're seeing such a beautiful spiral. But what I will point out is, can you see we're not quite a circle at the moment. So going into round eight, we're going to mix up the stitches ever so slightly in our increases. So make sure that we do create a circle and not a hexagon. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker. We're going into round eight and I'm continuing with colour B. And in this one, we're going to first of all work one half double crochet in the next three stitches. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I'm going to pop my stitch marker into that first stitch, counting back three. <laughs> it's in. Uh, so we've worked one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then we increase in the next stitch. So we've got one, two, three increase. We're then going to start our pattern repeat from here. So in this instance we're going to work six, one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and six. Then we increase. We're going to repeat that uh, for a further two times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we increase. One, two, three, Five and six. We then increase. Oops. I have a knot, sorry. That's why I'm slowing down there. And then you can see we have, if I move that loop just to the other side, you can see we've got three stitches remaining. So we're still going to work our six stitches before we increase. 
but we're going to do three in colour B. So one, two, and three. I'm going to bring up our loop as normal. Just going to undo this little tangle here for a moment. All came out at once. There we go. I'm going to take my hook out and change over to colour A. And then we start what we did from the very beginning. So we work one single crochet into oh, one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then we increase. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then we increase again. So we're going to do um, working into those six, you know, one into each of the next six half doubles twice more. I lost count then, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then increase. And again, work a further one into each of the six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to increase and we should have three stitches remaining back to our stitch marker. And we have, whew, one, two, three, there we go. So at the end of round eight, we've got one more round to go before we, well, before other, other sizes move on to different parts of the pattern. So let's do that one together. This is a nice, easy one. I'm just gonna show you how to start this one off. We're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches, and then we increase. And we just repeat that around changing colors when we reach the colour change in the loop. So that's three, four, five, six, and seven, and then we increase. So continue that around, seven, increase, seven, increase, seven, increase. So you should have four increases here, change to your colour, and then continue in colour B, working the same stitch repeat and I'll meet you at the end of round nine. So at the end of round nine, you should now have a total of 36 stitches in each of the colors. And it's at the end of round nine that those of you that are making a hat that is aged one to three years, um, head to the description box and click on the chapter that is marked length of hat um, because you need to go ahead to there. Those of you that are doing um, the four to 12 years, adult and large adult, we've got a couple more rounds to do before this section will meet the size of the crown of your head. So let's go on to round 10. And those of you making ages one to three, we'll catch up with you in a moment, but you carry on to the length of your hat and we'll see you there in a bit. So for round 10, we are continuing in color B and uh, we are going to work one half double crochet in the next four stitches. I haven't forgotten, don't worry. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we are going to work our first increase. One and two. And then we continue to do um we're going to work eight half double crochets before we increase three times and that will take us all the way around to our colour change. So I'll meet you with the colour change. So we do a further um, one half double crochet into the next eight stitches and then increase and then you'll have four stitches remaining to work into.
So once you've worked that third repeat and done that third increase, you should have four stitches remaining. And we just work one half double crochet into each of those. Sorry, my stitch marker's gonna make a lot of noise. That's one, two, three, and of course, number four, before we change our colors. So changing back over to colour A and we're going to continue in round 10. We're going to work one half double crochet in the next four stitches before we increase. And then we're going to work eight half double crochets, increase three times, which will leave us with four stitches remaining to complete round 10. So work around and I'll meet you at those last four stitches. So I've just got my last four stitches remaining to work to, for the end of round 10. And at the end of round 10, you should now have 40 half double crochets in each colour, so a total of 80. And at this point, if you are making a hat that is sized for four to 12 years, you now need to move on to the um, length of hat section of this video could be on a different video yet i'm not sure how long this is going to go um so just click the link in the description box and it will take you to that chapter and then the rest of us so those making adult and large adult hats we are going to move on to round 11. We're nearly there i promise <laughs> we're going to be continuing in color a and the nice easy round we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches and then we're going to increase and we just repeat that around making sure that we complete our color change when we need to so that's nine half double crochets and then increase all the way around back to your stitch marker remembering to change color where you need to so at the end of round 11 you should now have a total of 44 stitches in each of the colours. And if you are making an adult um, sized hat, you can now move on to continue to the length of hat. And those of you making a large adult hat, we're going to work that last row now. So for round 12, for those that need it, we are going to be continuing with colour B and we're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Don't forget to pop that stitch marker back into that first stitch. Three, four and five. And then we um, increase. And then for round 12, we're going to work 10 half double crochets before we increase three times and that will leave us with five half double crochets to work before we change colour and then we repeat all the way from the beginning again in continuing in colour A so we're going to work five half double crochets increase 10 half double crochets increase three times and that will leave us all the way back again with five um, stitches left to work and then finally, we can also go and join everybody else working on the lengths of their hat. So work your round 12. I'm not going to meet you at the end because I'm going I'm to jump ahead to the length of the hat. Um, but at the end of round 12, for those of you who are making a large adult hat, you will need a stitch count of 48 on each side. So 5 increase, 10 increase 3 times, 5 half doubles five half doubles increase, 10 half doubles increase three times, and then you've got your last five half doubles at the end, and I'll meet you ready to work the length of your hat. Now, if you are making a hat that is one to three years old, you should currently have um, nine rows of your hat. Now, how to count your rows is um, a bit of a challenge because obviously, it's hard to see where they started from. So the best thing to do is where you've got your stitch marker, count down from the middle out to your stitch marker to just before your stitch marker. So you've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now I am making an adult sized hat, so I have eleven rows. But if you're making the four to twelve years, you should have ten rows, and the large adult should have twelve rows. So if you've got that and you're ready to start making the length of your hat, this is possibly the best and easiest bit. Because all we're going to do is continue in the same colour change, working additional rounds that's going to create the length of your hat. So those of you who are working, um, it doesn't matter, you're just going to keep doing the same colour changes. So um, age one to three and adult like myself that I'm making, you'll be continuing in colour B. But four to 12 years and large adult, you'll be working with your colour A into this first um, round. So quite literally, all we're going to do is we're going to continue to place that stitch marker, don't forget. So work your first two stitches and always remember to pop that stitch marker back in because we are going to just work all the way around our hat. So we're not increasing any more in this section of our hat. We are just going to keep on working one half double crochet into each stitch around and remembering to do our colour change when we meet that loop. So for this round, your stitch count will remember remain the same throughout all the rows that you have to do. And the number of rows are different for each size. I'm saying rows, but I mean rounds. So let's go through while I'm working this section, I'm nearly there. Um, for the stitch counts, it's very, very simple. Sorry, I've got a noisy stitch marker, it's gonna get worse. Um, so if you're working one to three years, you should have and continue to have 36 stitches in each colour. If you're working four to 12 years, you should have 40 stitches in each colour. If you're working an adult sized, you should have 44 stitches in each colour. And if you're working the large adult, at this point, you should still have 48 stitches in each colour. So as you can see already, just by working that first half of the round, because there are no increases, it's going to cause our hats to become a hat effectively, the same way it works on a standard beanie. Once you've reached your colour change, this is when I'm going to get tangled, isn't it? Move that over there. Obviously, just as always, bring your loop up, change over to your next colour, and you're just going to keep on working. No more increases for this section of our pattern. So you just work one half double crochet into each stitch around, maintaining those stitch counts. I'm not going to do any more because my stitch marker is making noises. So let's talk about the number of um, rounds you're going to have to do of this section. Oh God. So the rows that you'll need to do to complete the length of your hat for ages one to three is going to be eight rows of the same number of stitches, which will give you a total row count of 17. Ages one to four, you'll be doing nine rounds, all in the same number of stitches, which will give you a total row count of 19. That's counting down from the middle, remembering to always count to just behind your stitch marker. So for instance, if we do this down now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So with each row, that will increase by one. So you'll be able to count. So ages one to three is looking for a total count of 17. Ages um, four to 12 is looking for a total count of 19. Adults are gonna work 11 rounds, all in the same stitch count, which will give you a total row count of 22. And then large adults will be doing a total of 12 um, to add on to the length, which will give them a total count from the middle down to the bottom of the hat of 24 rounds. So once you've completed the length of your hat, join me for part two, which will include how to work your brim and two for how to crochet your spiral sun hat.